Yeah, so PepsiCo is the world's second largest food and beverage company. And as such, we have a significant footprint across the world, operating in about 200 countries. One of the major footprints that we have is in agriculture. So about 34% of our carbon emissions comes from agriculture. Now, we have pledged uh, a couple of years ago, a couple of very important scientific-based uh, targets or science-based targets. One of them uh, to become a net zero company by the year 2040. Now, in order to do that, there is a lot of work that we need to do across the entire value chain, specifically in agriculture, given the importance of agriculture across our total footprint. So what we're in the process of doing is to convert the entire equivalent of all the land that we're using to grow our crops, which is about 7 million acres globally, to regenerative agricultural practices. And then there's, of course, also a big push uh, towards renewable energy. Uh, across our company-owned operations, but also across the operations that are run by our suppliers and our partners. Yeah, so I think the public-private uh, partnership is absolutely critical in order to deliver uh, a net zero commitment by 2040. Um, first of all, the private sector, of course, drives a lot of the economic uh, effort in, uh, in different countries across the world. But the uh, public sector can help with regulation, can also create the right infrastructure to accommodate a transition to clean energy and to help companies drive towards uh, a net zero commitment by a certain date. Um, in our case, in Africa, Middle East and South Asia, we still need to have lots of regulations uh, approved that will accommodate that change towards clean energy. One of those is in purchase power agreements that still are lacking in many of our markets. So my pledge would be to many of the governments uh, in those countries that we operate in to really drive towards those purchase power agreements and make sure that you create an enabling environment for industries like ourselves to drive towards clean energy. Yeah, so we've uh, pledged to become a net zero company by the year 2040 across not only our own operations, but also the scope three emissions. So that would include all our suppliers, our partners, etc. cetera. Um, that is a very ambitious objective, which requires a lot of partnerships about one third of our emissions is coming from agriculture. So we're working tirelessly with our farmers across the globe. These are 100,000 farmers, just to be clear, um, to help them uh, grow our crops in a sustainable way uh, with uh, zero uh, net emissions. And uh, of course, it's a massive process that will take a couple of years for us to, uh, to accomplish, but we're making good progress, which we also report on on an annual basis.